Welcome to day three, Sea Day. start to the day. We're upstairs, got some coffee and now we are enjoying the coffee on our balcony. It was a beautiful sunrise earlier. I had a quick wander around the ship. I took a couple of photos and things. I'll put them in here, hopefully, <laughs> so you can see. And today is our sea day. So nice and relaxed to start to the day. I think there's quite a few activities on today. A couple of films you want to catch and a couple of other bits and pieces that we might do so we'll see how we go um, and then today we are in it's a formal day today so we'll get dressed up in our tuxedo and then we've got oh, royal palace for dinner tonight so we'll see how we go mm, good stuff popped up to the cove cafe this morning to grab a quick espresso too um i like my coffee <laughs> and there was the uh, we got chatting to one of the wake staff last night um, and it turns out that uh, so the waiter in Cove Cafe was married to our server in Paolo <laughs> we've been married for seven years it's just a coincidence that the, that was who served us both times it's hilarious but he was there last night and then I popped back up this morning and he served me my coffee this morning as well but he said he's got a short shift this morning and he's, he's got some time off today but yeah but uh, the staff are absolutely brilliant yeah, everywhere we've been no complaints whatsoever so yeah right so after a nice relaxing time on the balcony with my coffee we are now heading up to Gabbana's for breakfast off we go I thought we still got my mug though Card out, and off we go. Kind of opens at like seven, so should be plenty of time. Yeah, multi brain croissants, healthy croissants. Keep them off the most important bit. And the banana French toast is in. Let's push around one of those. Thank you very much. 
head outside, see how fresh it is, but hopefully not too windy. Oh, it's not windy. But at least the view's nice. Some of these pictures are really good. <laughs> that one I thought was an actual picture and then it surprised me by moving. <laughs> Another good thing about taking the stairs, like you get to see all the different bits of artwork around the picture, uh, around the picture, around the ship, as well as keeping yourself fit and healthy. Although, down's much easier than going up. So we forgot something in our room. We were at the front of the ship, but our cabin is at the back. So we are now doing the long walk <laughs> along the ship to pick that up. But we are, yeah, that's true. We are enjoying the doors. Like the decorations some people do are incredible. Something to note, there are bumps along this corridor. <laughs> so we've tripped over on pretty much every one so far. Some of the, again, the doors are absolutely amazing. Fish extenders. <laughs> Indeed, yeah, they're fish extenders that people use for dropping gifts off. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. So, this is what we came to collect. Here's our midship detective agency card and map. So we know where we're going when we go off to solve crimes later. I think that means it's all around the midship. Oh, that's quite a good point. So you don't go too far? Forward or yeah. fore or aft. Ah, smart. So sorry you can't hear me here. Uh, apparently I haven't learnt how to use a microphone yet. Um, I was just saying that basically there's a character greeting activity that you can book before the cruise which gets you meeting all the princesses. All in one go. It does book up quick though. So this is Vibe, the teens area, and we had a look round during one of their open houses, which are regularly throughout the cruise. Again, that darned copyright music. You just can't get away from it. Get their own hot tubs in the outdoor seating area. Awesome little pods with the USB charging boards. All the way around. This is very cool. I mean, it must be doing all sorts of things to the light on this camera, but it's very cool. See, kids always get the best bits, it's not fair. Now we've got to try and work out how we get out again. Very cool. Is that like, is that out, out? I think so, I think this is the proper way in. I mean, it feels like a crew area, but no, I think, no, this is the correct way. There you go. The vibe is on deck four, five, but you have to go via deck four. Just confuse matters. Oh, there is disabled access from deck five as well. That's how we went in, but it's not the main way, I don't think. Anyway, off we go to, how are we doing? Oh, they're doing like a uh, release or like video of the Disney uh, treasure. So we're gonna go look at that, uh, possibly passing by a jewelry shop on the way, but we will see. It's nothing nicer, a relaxing sea day, nice weather, walking along a promenade deck. There's also these really cool lounges. 
loads of them set up down here and they're empty at the moment but this is the um shady side of the ship so potentially busy around the other side but it's just so relaxing so we're now on the sunnier but windier side of the ship it is beautiful though and it's very nice but a bit busier this is the side where the lounges are mostly taken up but there's still spaces available Some of the boonies. Yeah, there are more over in the treasures as well. And uh, the wishes of some of the more reasonably priced jewelry. Okay, after a nice relaxing morning in the spa, we are just heading out now. Uh, we're going to go to a DVC preview where mainly well as you might have heard on the announcement because they give us credit <laughs> 50 dollars credit if you attend the uh like preview thing but first of all we're going to try and grab some lunch so we're racing up to cabanas to grab some food and then take it with us to the preview hopefully anyway and then after that we are going to go see elemental in the theater <laughs> So we've just come out of watching Elemental in the Buena Vista Theatre. That film is brilliant, highly recommend it. We found this little cubby hole area. I mean, the view's not the best, but it's nice and like comfy seating at least. Uh, we also did a DVC preview thing, but they give us your $50 to spend on board, which is cool. And then we're gonna head up to the top deck, maybe go on the aqueduct. Um, so yeah, maybe get a video of that if they let me. I'm not sure though. <laughs> Just found Pepe Le Cron's uh, room. He's got his own little door. It's a half height door. Five one four eight and a half. <laughs> Very cool. by the side of the pool really cool you've got a glass side on there but you've also got a glass panel in the bottom it's a bit scary but it's pretty cool and maybe it's just a quick access to the uh, lifeboats if you need it and there's also this man panel right next to them very brave <laughs> Sorry, I was checking it was recording. We had a lovely afternoon. We uh, yeah, went to do the aqueduct. Uh, you get very wet. If you sit at the back, you like get cold water sprayed all up your back. Um, but it's a lot of fun. You get a great view across the ship. So enjoyed that. We then chilled up on the deck in the hot tub for a little bit to warm back up after the aqueduct. It's not the warmest day, which was really nice. Uh, and then we just um, watched a bit of TV and got ready for uh, dinner. As you can see, it's a formal night tonight. So we've fully tucked up. 
we're heading downstairs to watch the Beauty and the Beast show. Can't film in there, I'm pretty certain. Um, and then it's off to dinner in Royal Palace this evening. Uh... <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Lobby Atrium, the very heart of the Disney Dream, as we celebrate 25 years of sailing together. It has been an honour and privilege to make dreams come true with each of you. And you know what, Chris, I think you would agree that we couldn't celebrate this milestone without our honour guests and the incredible crew of the Disney Dream. Carly, I could not agree more. In fact, it feels like a problem that you would mark this evening's momentous occasion by sharing some words. You know what? It would be my pleasure. May we celebrate the voyages of the past and look forward to so many magical more adventures coming our way. And we hope and wish to make many more treasured memories as we look forward to the future and sailing the shining seas together. But Chris, we couldn't celebrate tonight without some friends that have been with us since the very beginning. So let's few moments later How incredible I tell you what as I continue to enjoy this evening with Mickey, Minnie and the gang It's only right that we continue this soiree You got it and right now we're going to continue this party with the sensational sounds of Soul Duo And we got some up close dancing with Mickey. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna come off. Thanks. <laughs> So just got back from dinner. We've got a good time with freebies. We got this for a drink that we bought up in the Meridian Lounge. Very nice leather coaster. We got a dog with the chocolates today. And we noticed this when we came back today. Found it on top of one of the shelves. I don't think we noticed it before. But I think it's for uh, sailing on one of the 25th anniversary sailings. You get a free bit of artwork. Look, it's a good old size as well. Very nice. Got Captain Mickey with some confetti there. If I get a proper frame. Good stuff. I'll pack that up later. Ah! Right, well, that was a lovely evening. We had the uh, Beauty and the Beast show, so it's based off the um, the new film, 2017 film, I think it was. Um, and this, it was amazing. Like, the set design was absolutely brilliant. Lots of um, screens, like um, animated TV screens that they change into the different um, scenery and things like that and the way they move them around to simulate like running away from the wolves and bits and pieces absolutely awesome really enjoyed that uh, then we had yeah popped up to the Meridian Lounge for a nice cocktail really beautiful sunset I'll try and add in a couple of photos now for those um, which is absolutely beautiful nice walk along the promenade deck as well before heading to dinner at Royal Palace tonight really tasty um, 
again amazing servers the table were with a lovely too so i think we had a oh my starter was our deep fried brie which was very tasty and then a french onion soup which if you ever had it that's hotter than the sun underneath the crouton on top it's really really tasty and then the chateaubriand um steak and then i had a tart tartan and and a creme, creme brulee for dinner ate a lot this evening but it was all really good food um and then we were going to go to one of the shows but again we've got copenhagen tomorrow so we're a little bit tired so we've just come back to the room but funny thing happened as i was uh coming back to the room my shoe fell apart i was like walking in. i got up from dinner and it was like flopping off and then halfway up the stairs it just fell off completely i'll tell you it's not easy to walk up stairs with like one <laughs> broken shoe but anyway ah, i made it through it was okay uh, but yeah so thanks for watching please uh like and subscribe um and uh if you want to see any of the other videos uh, there should be in a playlist down below thanks very much and uh happy travels